Hello, and welcome to Blue Beamer in Docsland. This series of short videos is aimed at those using programs, like Blue Beam Review, to get comfortable with similar workflows using BIM 360 Docs. These videos will also be helpful to those learning BIM 360 Docs for the first time, even if you're new to the workflow. Now let's dive in. Today's video, how to do 2D and 3D compare in BIM 360 Docs. All right, now that we're inside our BIM 360 Docs project, let's take a look at a file. So, the lower level. If I move over a bit, you'll see that there are three versions of this particular PDF inside of the plan. If I select on the versions, it opens up our history view, tells us all about the histories, but we also have the ability to compare versions. So if I select compare versions, it's going to default to the top two versions. You don't have to, de to default to the most current versions, and in fact in this case I'm going to compare version 3 to version 1. And then I simply select compare. So it churns away and does some thinking and it comes into play and you'll see that once it finishes little lovely white bubbles on the screen that it tells me we've got our two options. Things that are different in volume 3 or version 3 versus things in version 2. So, sorry, version 1 is white, version 3 is red. And if we zoom in, you can see that we've got the door was added in version 3, the door was added in version 3. In version 2, it was a straight wall, in version 2, it was a straight wall. We've got a door, and we've got something going on here with our uh, sink. We'll see that the version 3 version and the version 1 version aren't quite lining up. Over here in our janitor's closet, there was a uh, slop sink that's no longer there. We also have the ability to do, instead of doing what currently is shown, the overlap, we can also do a side-by-side. -side. So if I select the side-by-side, -side, you'll see that up here on the left side, we've got the version 3, and on the right-hand side, we've got version 1. And this little line controls it. If I zoom in a little bit and I move the line, you'll see that my program has changed. So the little sink goes away. We've got something going on here with our sinks in the wrong spot here. And if we pull this back, doors appear, doors disappear. Doors appear, doors disappear. So that's how we can do our 2D compare inside of BIM 360 Docs. Now what's really cool is that we have the ability to do a 3D model compare as well. So for this, I will go to my Revit file and I will open up a 3D view inside of the Revit file. Now it'll take a moment for this to percolate and bring itself to the top. And once it does, we're inside the 3D model and we'll see we have the ability to compare. So if I select the compare, it'll ask me which versions I want to compare. And I can choose from the versions that are available. Currently, I just have version 1 and version 2. Same thing as in the 2D compare. If I had 10 versions, it's going to default to version 10 versus version 9. But you can choose any of the options that you want. So I say compare. Again, it does some churning and some thinking. And then once it's all into play, this is what we get. So if I zoom in a little bit, I can now see things that are in color. And what do those colors represent? Well, we see the green is one item that's been added. I can remove or bring it back into view. I have four things that are red which have been removed, so I can click or bring it back in. And then I have five things that have been modified, so I can select this to bring it in or bring it back. You'll also see that we have a list of all those things so that we can go to an individual element. So if we see that one of the metal frames has been changed, I can select that and it'll bring it in and show me information about that particular item. I can also go to what has been moved. It'll give me information about that particular item. So we can get pretty in depth into the parts. I can also go to a selection tree where it shows me all through the uh, hierarchy of the Revit levels where all the content is, has been changed or updated or edited. We also can control by discipline. So as you can see, I can say, okay, do I want to hide the architectural changes, the structural changes, or the piping changes? Now in this case, um, there are structural and piping elements in the project, but none of them have been changed. So if I turn these off, I don't really see any difference. 
But if I turn off the architectural, you'll see they all go away because all the changes in this particular issue were architecturally based. Now this is the overlay version of the compare. Just like our 2D, we can go down here. We can select side by side. <clears throat> and now we have both versions side by side. And again, we can see the changes in place. So even if I turn those back on, so we see we've got the sink in version 2 that was not in version 1. We can see that the doors don't belong in version 2. They were in version 1. And we can see that they're red. And what does red mean? Red means they have been removed. So while it's really cool to have the functionality to review our changes when documents come in in 2D form, it really takes on that next level when we have the ability to do our compare in 3D with our Revit files and be able to drill down and see what's actually changed inside of the projects. Well, that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it and come back for some more. Have a good day.